Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at Excel IGCSE paper one. This is a specimen paper and we're going to look at question one of that paper. So here I've got a picture of a smart speaker and I need to answer a question on it. So question 1a, smart speakers use embedded microprocessors. Give one other example of a device that uses an embedded microprocessor. Well, you can have all sorts of things here as your answer. You've got washing machines, digital cameras, traffic lights. What you can't say, though, is something like a computer because that's not what they're looking for here. They're not embedded microprocessors. We're looking for something that has the microprocessor in it that just does a specific job. So my answer here would be, quite simply, washing machine. Okay. So now we'll look at the second part of that question. B, which one of these is a measurement of processor speed? The correct answer for that is gigahertz. So there's your answer. 1C, which one of these digital communication types has the greatest bandwidth? Is it infrared, NFC, Wi-Fi or 3G? The correct answer here is Wi-Fi it has a greater bandwidth than 3G and it's why when you're at home you would use your Wi-Fi if you had it over your 3G aside from obviously using your data you'd want to use your Wi-Fi instead because it has a greater bandwidth I remember what bandwidth is the greater the bandwidth I have the faster my internet connection D which one of these would be used to secure data exchange in a network? Would it be access rights, copyright, encryption, or compression? Well, the only answer there is C. The correct answer is C. It is encryption. Encryption is where data is scrambled so that if it were to be intercepted, it wouldn't be able to be read, it wouldn't be able to be understood. So the data is scrambled using a key and to be able to read that data, same key is needed by the recipient to unscramble that data. Question E. Draw a diagram to show how a Wi-Fi router can be used with a gateway to provide a smart speaker with an internet connection. Label each component of your diagram. Four marks. Now your diagram has to include the smart speaker has to be connected to the Wi-Fi router and you have to show the Wi-Fi waves. You need to include the router and that needs to be connected to a gateway and that in turn is connected to the internet and then you need to show those in the correct order. So here is model answer for that. I've drawn the internet as like a globe and that's connected to the gateway. That is a wired connection there. The gateway is a connection between two networks and that in turn is connected to the Wi-Fi router and that has a wireless connection indicated by the curved lines there to the smart speaker. Now what I could do is just indicate on those curved lines that that is a wireless, that is a Wi-Fi connection. But that is a model answer to that question. And it's in the correct order. Right, question F. Describe how tethering could be used to give the smart speaker access to the internet. When you tether a device using someone else's internet connection, another device's internet connection, so you're tethering the smart speaker to another device to give the smart speaker internet access. So for two marks here, I need to explain what that is and how that works. So it allows the smart speaker to share the internet connection from another device. One mark uses connectivity, so Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, USB, some, some kind of connection to do this. So question G, explain why a smart speaker uses ROM. ROM is read-only memory, and the smart speaker will be using it very differently than a computer, a PC. The smart speaker is using ROM to store its firmware. Now, read-only memory cannot be changed, it can only be read. 
or so once it's read in the factory that's it it's not going to be changed again so the correct answer is there's your answer there it stores instructions that do not need to be changed for example it's firmware ROM is read only and cannot be changed once written H one benefit to users of streaming music rather than downloading it is to reduce cost explain one other benefit users of streaming music rather than downloading it so the benefits here are that we would save space on a device so you can store more apps more take more photos whatever it is on your device rather than downloading music to your device when you stream music you just you just need the internet connection you could listen to it straight away so you don't need to download it you don't need to download the full file before you can actually listen to it so any one of those is going to give you two marks so my answer there is for two marks you can listen to music straight away one mark you don't need to download the full file first so for two marks i have given my answer and then explained how that is my answer two marks there i some people cannot access the internet because of technical faults there's three other causes of lack of access to the internet so you're thinking here of something called the digital divide so part of your answer you need to think about about something to do with the digital divide only for the first one but the cost of having an internet connection stops some people the second point i put geographical location now you notice there that i haven't written a lot and it's only worth one mark each so i haven't explained it when you only got when you've only got one mark it's not worth taking the time to explain that because it's not going to gain you any extra marks i just need for it to make three points here and i don't need to really explain them so the third one i put low digital literacy so some people simply they know the internet exists but they simply they simply don't want to use it i can think of people who don't even have wireless internet don't have any internet in their home at all uh, they know they know that it's out there they know that potentially it could benefit them but they're just simply not interested in in getting that other answers we could hear, have here for the digital divide are political so some countries really restrict access to the internet in certain countries the, the number of if you look at the number of ip addresses there are it's considerably lower than in others now that is that is a lack of of internet access and that is a restriction so that you could have as well you could have social factors religion gender you could also have lack of infrastructure you simply live in a place where broadband is is very very poor if it exists at all and question j this is the last question of this series there's two benefits to music companies of using the internet to distribute music two marks so i need two benefits here using the internet to distribute their music using this is similar to anyone using the internet to distribute anything really in terms of being able to reach a wider marketplace the whole world rather than just your geographical location you can reduce the cost of packaging so packaging up a cd or record or whatever it is sending it out you can reduce postage costs you can have simpler logistics you simply download it so any any one of those is a good answer there also potentially put that someone could download download the music in minutes and have it instantly rather than waiting for a cd to arrive or having to go out and buy that record so for my answer here i'll put wider marketplace and reduced postage costs so that finishes that question and question one is 19 marks and we think that is out of 100 so that is 19% of 50% of your GCSE. Now, if we think that it all, every, all these questions add up, and I don't think that was a particularly difficult question, just remembering some of the technologies there, 
you're on your way to a very good GCSE grade. Just remember some of the exam tips there. If you're given one mark and one mark answer there, don't spend loads of time writing an explanation. Just simply answer the question. So good luck with that and good luck with your exams and let me know in the comments how you get on. Thank you very much for watching today.